history looks back on this decision, how do you think it will be written? Well, history is written by the winner, so it largely depends on, on <laughs> uh, who's writing the history. But I think a fair history would say it was a, it was a good decision because it, it upheld the rule of law. It, helped, it, uh, it upheld the standards of the Department of Justice, and it undid what was an injustice. Joining us now to break down these latest developments is Lieutenant Stephen Rogers, a Navy reservist, former FBI terrorist task force agent, and a member of the president's 2020 advisory board. So when we look at what we're looking at right now, the latest developments coming out regarding the Flynn case, you have an extensive experience within the FBI yourself. Are you surprised by what we've seen so far? I'll tell you, uh, more hurtful than surprised. Uh, I've spoken to former agents as well of, as active uh, duty personnel with the FBI. The FBI was America's premier uh, law enforcement agency for years, and it's just so hurtful that James Comey and company uh, did what they did. Look, this was an attempt to bring down the president of the United States. Make no mistake about that. And they misused their power. More hurtful than surprised. And so when you hold that belief, you have to assume that there were bad actors from within the FBI doing this. It wasn't necessarily just a mistake or a slip of judgment or anything like that. And when that happens, the question then becomes is how high did this necessarily go? A lot of the critics of the Flynn, uh, the latest developments would say that maybe this is just a few rogue actors that didn't necessarily have direction coming from the top. Do you believe that? Absolutely not. I could tell you without blinking an eyelash that the magnitude of this investigation is the highest levels of the, uh, pre of the uh, U.S. government, including the president of the United States at that time, Barack Obama. There was nothing that was going to go on re in relation to what they were trying to do without, at the very least, the knowledge of the attorney general, uh, the knowledge of the vice president, Joe Biden, and Barack Obama at that time. It would be absolutely impossible for them to move forward without their direction or at least their knowledge. And in fact, we've heard in some of the House uh, transcripts that were released last week that some of the individuals involved in this investigation say that they did brief members of the White House, sometimes in the Oval Office, sometimes with Joe Biden present in some of those meetings. It's just a, a matter of the details. How much did they know? When did they know it? That is the stuff that still has to be uncovered. And that is something that uh, U.S. Attorney John Durham is looking into, the origins of the Russia investigation, as well as the origins of the different spying techniques, whether it was be on uh, Carter Page, whether it be on Michael Flynn. Uh, do you suspect suspect that we'll have more answers when John Durham comes out with his report. I absolutely believe there'll be more answers, and I've uh, cautioned uh, those in the bureau as well as uh, with all law enforcement agencies. Sometimes the blue wall goes up and the rank and file or anyone involved don't want to say anything. Well, now's the time to speak up because I believe everyone in this chain that created this mess will get caught and they will be prosecuted. And that's a key uh, part right there, because, for example, a lot of people who have been critical of the FBI's handling of a lot of these investigations over the past three or four years have said that it never actually has teeth. It never resorts in anything actually happening. We could look at the Horowitz report where he finds ex extensive instances of wrongdoing. I believe it was 19 instances where he found wrongdoing when it comes to the FISA and Carter Page. But then nothing happens. It was kind of the similar excuse that we hear in the uh, past, such as, well, this could have just been a mistake or this could have been a rogue actor, if you will, even though when it comes to someone literally deleting a line out of an email, it's something that isn't necessarily done mistakenly. Do you think that we will see some actual teeth this time around when it comes to actual maybe prosecution or actual charges against people? I absolutely do believe that. Now, we must keep in mind that the rank and file of the FBI, people still have confidence in those troops out on the field. Yeah. This was all a result of high level people in the FBI. Uh, and, and let me share this with you. There's no rogueness here. There's no mistakes. I supervise a lot of investigations in my career. And I could tell you, I went over every single I, every single T was crossed. So nothing rogue here. This was all premeditated, I believe, with the goal of bringing Donald Trump down. And did they fail? And this is one subject, too. A lot of my uh, colleagues on the Democratic side of the aisle will tell me that the American people don't actually care about these things. But I would push back against that and say the American people generally do care about investigations when it comes to government overreach and corruption. Uh, we could talk about the Benghazi investigation, Hillary Clinton's emails, for example. It may not necessarily be the dinner table type of conversations that people have traditionally. They would much rather focus on the economy. But I think people do care about these issues because nobody likes the idea of corruption, especially independent voters who may be on the fence. Do you think that's true? 
It's absolutely true. Now, keep in mind that this is the FBI we're talking about, but uh, people do care because it has a ripple effect. Uh, they set a standard that actually will uh, uh, infiltrate into your state police investigations, local police investigations. My Lord, if the FBI could get away with this, what about the local police agency? So people are very concerned about corruption and they are cheering uh, in, in this fact that, that they got caught. No, America loses. Nobody wins in something like this. But the fact of the matter is they got caught. And let's just hope that the FBI is cleaned up from uh, head to toe. Yeah, and I think a lot of people want definitive answers, too. I think that's why a lot of people are looking back to Durham's report, hoping that we do get some answers there, either accountability or exoneration. At this point, I think people would be happy with answers either way, but this is an issue that we haven't got answers on for the past three years, so a lot of people are looking forward to that. Lieutenant Stephen Rogers, thank you very much for joining us tonight. My pleasure. Thank you. And still ahead on After Hours, the Justice